Ow, ow. Okay, today we are unboxing the Muse S. Frick, the door won't lock. There we go. The YouTuber life. Wake up, wake out, unbox, baby. Let's go. Brian, are you awake? Brian's awake! Say hello to my new friend. We got a new toy, I'm just trying this out. This is the Muse S headband. It just got released earlier this year, got announced earlier this year. And I had just purchased the Muse 2 headband. And I was like, wow, this is like actually way better. Because of the size. Look, this is the box of the Muse S headband right here. And you can actually wear this to sleep. The big difference is it has sleep journeys. It's much smaller and better for travel. Like look at the size of this compared to travel case of the Muse 2. So the Muse 2, when you pull it out, it is rather small, but this is not a flexible device. If you want to package this, geez Louise, I can't even handle myself. Oh my God, everything's falling. It kind of extends out, it gets bigger, smaller. Uh, it's got a power button, it's got metal uh, EEG plates are right on the front. Muse 2, Muse 2 right here. And obviously it's flexible, but this is not something you want to travel with by yourself. You want to put it in a case and zip that case up for protection because this is not a cheap item. But then look at this case. It's got a big bulging on the bottom. It's still pretty big, like it's almost the size of my hand. And if you're traveling minimal with just a backpack, because you can't pay for anything more than a personal item when you fly, then that's just not ideal because that is taking up a lot, way too much space. So now compare it to this. This is the just the box for the Muse S. Look at that. It's much smaller, it's flexible, and I bet you can fold it up real small. So let's open this bad boy up. Looks like there's already a rip in the plastic. That kind of kills the experience. Ready, ASMR. That feeling of fresh plastic coming off a box. Here's the back of the Muse S headband. As you can see, there's some things if you'd want to really read it, scan the barcode, whatever, Amazon price, check it. It was on Amazon, it said it was shipping for like three more weeks, but I was like, ah, I am gonna order it straight off the Muse website. And so I did. And there we go, it looks like it opens just like that. Wada bang, wada boom. Ooh, this is kind of like the Apple Watch packaging. Got the foldable insides, wow, it's actually very similar. You open it up, there's another box inside, typically multiple boxes, boom. There's two boxes in this. You've got the Muse S band and the Muse S module, so the module goes on top of the band, can you see that right there? Boom, there's the boxes, top and bottom, and then this is kind of how they stack up. So, and this is the inside of that packaging. It looks pretty nice. They have some lettering that says, the quieter you become, the more you hear. But I'm freaking loud! <laughs> okay. <laughs> what a great way to start the morning. It is currently 7.30 a.m. Snoozing is losing. <laughs> but sleep is important. Get enough sleep. That's why this Muse headband is cool because it allows you to sleep. If you have trouble falling asleep, you can do the sleep journeys. They don't yet track your sleep yet, but I, I think it has the capability to do so, kind of like the Dream Headband. So I'm curious when they will release the software update, because that's all they really need to do to be able to compete with the Dream. So there's the pod module for the Muse S, and then this right here is the actual band. So that's kind of what it looks like. They etched it into the box. Let's open up the, the band first. There it is. It kind of hangs out in this box. Let's pull that bad boy out. So look at that. Already, this is the band. This is so thin, so small. You can put this in your backpack probably, like throw it around and it'll be fine because it's flexible, first of all. The, the only hard pieces are the little plates on the top that hold the pod. And this is just easier to, look how small this is compared to this. This is astronomically different. The pod, the pod, is that what they're calling it? Get started. I really hope this is USB-C. Come on, Muse. This is 2020, man. Let's not stick to USB-A micro. Instructions, I bet it's USB-A micro. And how to do it, how to get started with a couple pamphlets in here. 
There you go, this is literally exactly like the Apple Watch unboxing. You download the app, you assemble, you turn it on, charge it if it's not powered on, and download the Muse Meditation app. There's the pod cable. Let's pull out the cable. USB-A to USB-A micro, perfect. Thank you so much for living in the 2010s decade. Uh, it's time to upgrade USB-C, come on. And nice cable, comes with a little Velcro piece as you can see. Well, yeah, the little Velcro, it's pretty sturdy. It's not like a cheap cable that you can sometimes find with some products that I like. And then the pod itself, which is the device that kind of does the Bluetooth connection, um, it powers everything. This is the device you want to be charging. Here it is. This is the pod. This is essentially the computer for the Muse headband. And this is what you put on top of the headband and you can sleep and meditate with it. It's got some plates that it will plug into that are proprietary to Muse. As well as another sensor on the back of this actual, I think that right there, that might be the PPG sensor. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, as in, if you look at the headband, there is a hole right there. And this sensor, I would assume, goes right on top of that hole. Oh, and it just clicks right in place. Look at that, wow. Now that is a solid experience. Good work there, Muse. The one thing, USB-C please. So that way I don't have to carry a freaking USB micro cable with me. I'm all about the USB-C life. And here's the packaging. This is, so let's rip off. Ooh, I think I just turned it on. There it is, this is the Muse S headband, look at that. In all its glory, there are the plates on the back that actually measure, as well as the PPG sensor, I would assume for heart rate, uh, it can probably do more than that. And then it has an accelerometer, I would assume. And, and then what are these? I don't know what the side things are. So the sensors, interestingly, are very flexible. Like these are, I think these are silver plated sensors. So that's the one thing, the Muse 2 is the only one with gold. And it's got sensors obviously in the front of your forehead and then around your ears, just like the Muse S does. I mean, Muse 2 does. And then this is it. And you can travel with this. You fold it up to protect the sensors. Ideally, you want to probably wrap it in something so the bottom sensors don't get broken or anything. And it looks like this. So let's see how you put it on. It's booting up, it's booting up. Handy dandy telephone. That, there, phone, phone screen. Muse app, open up the Muse app. Take off your glasses. I, I'm guessing Muse is pointing towards the sky. You put it around, you link it. Actually, I don't even know how you close it. Uh, oh, here, okay. Ooh, look at that. Can you see that right there? So this piece is like a magnet. It just comes right off. Look at that. Why is this so much fun? Can you hear it? Boom, this is an aura ring by the way. Review that video. You can watch it in my channel, so make sure to subscribe and like this video. So, oh, I think it's all metal. <gasps> Ooh, that's satisfying. Muse, well done with the experience of the headband. So you wrap it around, and then we get those two metal pieces to touch. Ow, it's stuck in my hair. Ugh. Okay, be careful with your hair. If you have hair, you don't want it stuck in those metal pieces. And if you do get it stuck, just don't pull. And bada bing, bada boom. Bluetooth on the top left. Oh, there it is. Other devices nearby. We tap Muse S. Your device is connected. Ooh, learn how to wear it. Well, Maybe I should have watched this first. Muse S will guide you to a deeper understanding of yourself and your meditation practice through powerful real-time feedback. It is important that your Muse S is fitted properly to ensure okay. the sensors have should strong have signal this. quality. Power your pod on and pair your device to the Muse app. Ensure the Muse logo is right side up before you fit your Muse. Place the Muse S on your upper forehead, pod centered, and fasten the clip behind your head. Be careful not to stretch the band near the sensors, as this can wow. damage the sensors. Okay. It is important that both ear sensors make direct contact with the skin behind your ears. Okay. Remove any hair behind your ears as you adjust fit to ensure strong <sighs> signal quality. You may need to adjust your muse a few times to get it right. Give the signal time to settle after you find a solid fit. Take a deep breath, relax, and let muse help guide you to a restful sleep. 
restful sleep. All right, that's how it works. Looks like we're connected to the Muse S. And I'll do it with the audio on just so you can hear what it's like. Select headband. Okay. For this calibration, find a comfortable <clears throat> position and close your eyes. Place your attention on your breath now. Cool, so what I like to do is I'll put a heart, I just also write my gratitude, save and continue. And then it gives me data in terms of how I did. My, whether I was active, neutral, and calm, looks like I was pretty calm during the entire session of four minutes, that's pretty good. <clears throat> and this is actually based on the calibration that it does. So if your eyes are open during the calibration, if you're thinking a lot during the calibration, the higher your neutral zone will be. So the neutral is defined as what your calibration was, and then calm is if you're able to decrease your brain waves for calm, and then active is if you go above the calibration level. And if you just if you want to challenge yourself, start meditating during the calibration. If you want to make it easier, just kind of sit there and be during the calibration. I had a call with Muse. They set up like a one-on-one -on -one call, which is very cool when you first buy your first Muse. So I love that. And then the birds is if you're able to be in the calm state, I think for like more than X seconds. Save, longer streak, 42, haven't stopped. And oh, so one thing that it now gives me is this go to sleep piece. To see the data, complete a go to sleep session with Muse device. So now there's some Muse go to sleep journeys that I can use. These are, seem to be locked right now. And this is a specific feature only to the Muse S headband. How do I unlock it? Comfort fit. I do like the fit a lot more on this. It's just, it's, it's. I think it's a little too tight and you loosen it, but it's just easier to put on. Um, it's much smaller, I can travel with it, and I do wear the Dream 2 headband when I sleep and that tracks my sleep, so I'm not sure if I'll try this. Maybe when I'm traveling, I'll try the go to sleep journey. I don't really know what I'm doing wrong here, but I guess I can't access them. Uh, my link will be below if you want to purchase the Muse headband, earn $30 off, just use my link below and I'll get 30 bucks too. Helps out the channel, helps me out to get more of these products and try them out for you. This is kind of what it looks like on my forehead right there, around my ear, um, and then the back of my head, if you can see that. Um, I hope that helped, that if with your purchase, if you wanna get one of these in terms of like, if you're a face sleeper, this will probably be straight in your pillow. If you're on the side, it's pretty flat. Um, the Dream headband is much thicker on the side, so that'll definitely make a difference. And then the magnet just comes right off. As you can see, there's the, Heart rate monitor, it's a green heart rate monitor. We press and hold, boom. And it just snaps right off. And then when I wanna charge it, I just grab a cable and I plop it right in. And I charge this device right here. And then I can fold this device. You know what they need to give you is a little thing that can wrap. Some way to just keep this in space. I know they gave us a paper wrapper. Well, that's the unboxing. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Shervin Shares. I share products, services, and experiences that help you achieve your peak performance. Obviously, meditation is something that's widely talked about. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like the video, subscribe, and I will keep unboxing all these cool kinds of products that help you be a better human being. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace! They have guided meditations.